This is the Chicago rat hole. It's pretty simple. There's a sidewalk in Chicago with a hole that's shaped like a rat, or maybe it's a squirrel. It's not clear when the rat hole appeared, but locals say it could be 20 to 30 years old. The rat hole used to only be known to locals, but earlier this month, someone posted a picture of it on X, formerly Twitter, and now people are visiting every day. They're leaving offerings, building shrines. Some people even got married at the rat hole. Don't get married at the rat hole. What is wrong with people? What? Okay. All right, it's in Chicago. The rat hole, it's in a quiet residential neighborhood in Chicago. Um, I can't believe that it's as old as 20, 20 to 30 years old. But nonetheless, mm -hmm. um, considering the size and scale of that rat indentation, I would say it's probably not a rat, maybe it was a squirrel. Some sort of rodent of unusual size. Right, yes. Yeah. Um, but nonetheless, the local community not happy about how it's become a tourist destination. So first, uh, Let's take a look at a still image of the rat hole in question. So you see that there's now a plaque there. Uh, people are putting <laughs> coins in there. Like, do they make a wish before they throw it in there? Mm -hmm. um, but it has like kind of turned into a bit of a shrine. Like people leave all sorts of goods there, flowers, alcohol, other- Cheese, one would assume. Other <laughs> <laughs> well, they do leave food, which, is part of the reason why people who live in that community are getting increasingly irritated by it because they don't appreciate like the increase of people just coming to the neighborhood to check it out. But they also don't like that they're leaving a mess um, as they create these little shrines. So one resident, uh, Jonathan Howell, had been looking forward to visiting um, the site. And when he arrived, he discovered that someone had actually filled it with a concrete-like substance. So he quickly got to work using an old license plate to try to save the so-called rat hole. And it's uh, not the only time someone tried to fill the hole. And so um, here's another, <laughs> oh God. Is like, John. do they have like a system, like John, a line to get there? You do you have to pay some sort of toll to see the rat's hole? <laughs> like how do they organize if there's a crowd? Somebody <laughs> should be making money off of this, I think. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh. Mm -hmm. See, I don't have that kind of dirty, perverted mind. Oh, you thought of it the second you no, said it. No, I did. <laughs> Only when you started laughing, I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I just said, I just said, fill the hole. I just, mm -hmm. that's what I said. Okay. I love quirky Chicago things. It's one of those Chicago gems that you want to keep around, said Jonathan Howell, the guy who tried to save the uh, newly filled rat hole. <laughs> <laughs> A well filled rat hole, I would say. Let's say that. So this is the most nonsense, ridiculous story of all time, but I'm amused by it. I'm amused by what humans become infatuated or fascinated with. Yeah, I just, I love, you know, like you'll, there'll be like a saying that like, you know, kids in your school would say, mm -hmm. and you wonder, how did this get to our school? Because kids say this in California, like somebody said it first and then it spread to the entire country. Uh -huh. I, I'm interested in that sort of thing. So like, I love the, how you get from the first guy who's like walking down the sidewalk and he's like, that kind of looks like a rat. <laughs> and now we're where we're at. Like, how does it get from that? Because there's holes everywhere, man. And they look like all yeah. sorts of things if you want to believe it. But this one stuck. Remember, there was a period of time, this is, I'm sure a lot of our young viewers are not going to be privy to this because this was like something that was a trend during the early aughts where like, fundamentalist Christians kept seeing Jesus everywhere. Mm -hmm. So there would be like a piece of toast and like, you know, some elderly woman in the middle of the country was like, oh my God, it's Jesus on the toast. And then like she would put it in a shrine and then like people from the community would visit it and pray to it. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All sorts of crazy stories. So like, yeah, I mean, look, this indentation does look like a rat. It does. I it see does. it. does. I mean, a rat probably died to make that indentation. It, that's sad. And someday he'll return to us. I think the problem is big cement, okay? I think so. They're not following proper protocol to mm -hmm. ensure that uh, the rodents in the community are safe and they don't fall into the wet cement. I No, I don't think that's how it worked. I think that uh, two workers came upon the wet cement and they saw the rat struggling and one said, hey, Joe, we gotta get that rat out of there. And the other guy was like, no, I wanna give people hope. Mm -hmm.